we're now going to look at partial routes and what strategy we would adopt here. What we will do is ask one upstream provider for a default route, because a default route says, I know how to get to the whole internet. And it's easy to originate a default route towards a BGP neighbor. We've seen the one line configuration earlier in this series. We still ask the other upstream provider for a full routing table. And then we filter it based on the neighboring AS or other policies that we want to implement. For example, we want traffic to their neighbors to go over the link to that AS. And in fact, what will happen is most of what the upstream sends is thrown away. It's much easier than asking the upstream provider to set up custom BGP filters for you. Let's look at the router C configuration. It bears a lot of similarities to the previous full routing table example. We still have an inbound prefix filter, allowing all prefixes apart from the RFC 6890 blocks. Outbound, we still send our aggregate. But now the AS path filter we used earlier, which allowed AS130 and AS130's immediately adjacent ASs, the AS path filter is applied directly to the BGP neighbor. It's no longer used within a route map. We also have a route map tag default low, which looks for the default route and tags it with a low local preference. The route map looks for the default, sets local preference to 80. The second line of the route map leaves all other prefixes alone. And you can see the AS path access list in the example here looks exactly the same as it did previously. The router D configuration is greatly simplified. We now accept the default route in and we send our address block out. The summary of this, the router C configuration accept the full BGP table from AS130. Or we could get them to send less, but it's very few operators these days will actually permit this. It's usually full BGP table or defaults. We filter the ASNs we get from AS130 such that only AS130 and AS130's neighboring ASs are accepted. We allow the default route and set it to local preference 80. Traffic to those ASs will go over the AS130 link. Traffic to the other ASs will go over the link to AS140. If the AS140 link fails, we get back up via AS130 and vice versa. Well, let's take the table with full route entries as we saw earlier and add in the partial routes. From AS140, we get one prefix, just the default, and we leave it local preference 100. From AS130, well, we still get the 30,000 prefixes we had in the previous example, originated by AS130 and their neighbors, but now we just leave them local pref 100. We also get the default route from AS130, and we set it to local preference 80. So in this example, a grand total of 30,002 paths. Compare that with the 1.3 million that we had before. So the outcome of this is, su is such that if the link to AS140 fails, with partial routes, it's just a default route that was, is withdrawn from the local BGP table. The whole network will fail over to the AS130 link very, very quickly, in a matter of seconds. And same goes the other way around. If the AS130 link fails, the 30,001 prefixes learned from AS130 will be quickly removed, and the default route from AS140 will carry the traffic. Compare this with the full routes. What if the S140 link goes down? We have 650,000 prefixes that have to be withdrawn from the local BGP table. This will not happen in a few seconds. Even with the best will of the vendors and the best software and the fastest CPUs, there will be a significant amount of time required to remove all 650,000 prefixes learned from AS140 across the entire autonomous system. Customers will see this as an outage, or worst case, funny routing, or maybe looping 
routing or traffic and so forth, customers will notice this outage. The partial route example, it's unlikely any user will notice it unless they're doing some really delay sensitive or time sensitive traffic or content analysis. So the partial route solution is much preferred and indeed in the operations community several operators have talked about the benefits to their network when they have moved from carrying full routes for multi-homing in an example like this to simply using partial routes.